Hi, I'm Amy Vischio, Editorial and Creative Director of At Home Magazine. I've been invited to be a part of the Tastemaker Spotlight at Bungalow, and today I got myself ready, which has not happened in a long while, and I was reminded of how good I feel when I have things on that I have chosen and that I adore and I've honestly forgotten about. So getting a beautiful top on from Italy and a cuff that was given to me as a gift, I realize what we put on our bodies, what we surround ourselves with has so much more power over us than we can even imagine. And I feel completely at home here at Bungalow because I am a neutral person. That is my, that's my mantra. I never get tired of neutrals and textures and Bungalow does an exquisite job of pulling things together that are interesting and unique and honestly feel authentic to many time periods, just timeless. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things today. The first thing I wanna show you is anyone who knows me knows I have a love for leather. And there's this terrific table back here that is joined by pieces of leather. This is only gonna get better with time. It is so beautiful to me. And the more patina that gets, the better it will be. I can see that anywhere. Actually, I can see that as a bedside table, something for a low slung bed. And over here to my right is what I consider to be the perfect day. So if I could get a few of these books, sit down in a comfy chair, I could stay here for a couple of hours and it's better than meditation for me. This is truly my luxury in life is to grab a book or a magazine and get lost in the pages. That's something that'll never go away. So follow me and we'll go over here and I will show you the extent of my color. I live in an all neutral house the exception of my master bedroom. This is about it for me. This is doing color. And I love it because it's fresh, yet it's muted and it's textural, still goes with everything. And I do not tire of a color with not a lot of intensity. So this is a favorite. I would take that home. This is a book I was looking at. And over here are my other pillow choices. I recently got a sofa and I didn't care for how it looked, it was so bulky. I pulled off the back cushions and I have a plan to take these oversized pillows, line them all up in the back and then just do individual pillows that don't exactly match, that go well, well together and I can switch them out as often as I want. And without those back big pillows, it changed everything completely. It looks so much more hip and cool. So I could sit here with a book. That's where you can find me this afternoon. Another thing that I fell in love with right when I walked in these beautiful ceramics. There's a full story behind them. Each one is different. I am absolutely in love with anything that there are no two alike. So you had me at one of a kind. Over here, some beautiful pieces that have just enough color to, to shake things up. I love the ridges. I love that there's sort of a lot of expression in the texture and this needs nothing in it to be beautiful. It's a standalone piece. As a group they're even better. This is why I love coming here. It's just like everything you really have to be, you have to have your, take your time and look all the way around you and do a second pass or a third pass if you need to. So my latest obsession are hats. And I looked at this and I was like, wow, I'm completely drawn to these hats that have, again, an irregular band, sort of a tie-dye feel. Come to find out they're from Italy. And uh, I don't see two alike on here, which I love even more. And my idea is to fill a wall, uh, a big wall that I have that is white. And each hat to me is a work of art made by hand get a variety and cover that wall. And I hope it takes me years, but these are terrific. Now we talked about how my cuff made me feel and I am looking at Livewell's collection here and behind me, JL Rocks. There is a particular ring that I fell in love with. I am, I like handsome design and something that isn't too fussy 
And this ring in beautiful rose gold is spectacular. It's chunky. It's all you need to make a statement. And I am a bit of a minimalist, so I could wear that ring with an all black outfit or just even what I have on today, and that would be enough for me. This lamp is something I think is spectacular. It's got an earthy feel to it, but it's also tailored, simple shapes and organic. And the scale of it is magnificent. There, you don't need a lot. A lot goes a long way when you have something of that scale in a space. And the whitewash on it is just beautiful. I do love the irregular shape. It's not perfect. And the base is so beautiful, just of wood. And a simple linen shade is perfect. Want a little bit of whimsy in your summer home or just want to make your house feel like an escape right now the raffia is a great way to do it and there they have these pillows which i just love these fringe it's actually pretty comfortable it's not too scratchy and it's fun and put that on an all white couch and it's completely different there are here they are i think these are so much fun they're just playful not too serious and what I would do with these is actually, I would put these on a wall in a terrific arrangement. And then I would put in the coasters, which are much smaller and just design with them and fill a, a simple entryway. You could also pull them down and use them for a guess, I guess, too, their intended use. But there's a lot of things in the store that are not, you could see multiple uses for them. And I think that's a great thing. I mean, hats as wall art, coasters, can go on your wall as well or be repurposed these here into a fun rug which i know lisa friedman did we featured that in an issue of at home and designers come here and they can get creative and i think that's a great benefit to our whole community i love this just enough tribal inspiration yet french and feel this is an amazing throw it feels terrific in hand and the texture is Perfect. This can go anywhere. I wasn't kidding. I'll be here all afternoon. I'm in my happy place. I'm quite comfortable. And I can probably wait here until our next issue of At Home comes out, which is our second homes issue. I hope you look for it. And I hope you've enjoyed the tour, the quick tour of Bungalow. When you have some more time, come here, see what you can discover. I might just be right here. Have a great summer.